solution Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of Rags to Riches with Bly Spartans. Now today we play Hail Zone Away in the live com. We're going to talk about the games that we've already played since the last episode. We've made one new sign in but first up I want to talk about the injuries that I currently have in my squad. Now Paul Robinson as you can see at the top there damaged foot. He's not far away from coming back. He probably won't be involved in the team much. He was already injured when I came into the club. Michael Richardson gets his second injury of the season already and it's only just not long begun this is second injury he's nearly back and the first injury was four weeks this one was six weeks and hopefully he'll be back shortly to full fitness because he's a key player in the team another another very important player in the team is robert dale now he got injured with a damaged knee cartilage he's back between 12 days and three weeks he's a very important player arguably our best player in the team he creates he crafts goals he makes assists and he scores goals as well. An important player to have in the team. And Danny Hawkins, our cover striker, injured, shin splint and he was out for, I think it was five months to start with. Now it's three to four months. Going to be a while before we see him back playing. But this is the news on the injury front. Three key players in the team. One that would probably be on the bench and the other two would definitely be starting. So on the injury front, things are not looking too great. So the first matchup after the live comp against Salford was a 3-1 victory against Workington at home. Goals coming from Robert Dale, a Roundtree OG and a Dan Maguire goal. Callum Etches scoring for Workington. We went 3-0 up. They pulled up goal back just before half time but we managed to hold out easy enough. We had 7 shots, 4 on target and 50-50% possession. Now out of all the games I've played so far, this is the only game where I haven't had most possession in the game and I'm including pre-season in that as well. So in terms of the possession and the controlling tactic that I have made, we're doing well on that side of things but in a few moments I'm going to show you what I've changed up in terms of the tactics. We then welcome Buxton to Croft Park in a match where we lost 1-0, Bradley Barraclough scoring for the away side. Six shots on for us, eight shots for them, and only one shot on target each, so it was poor finishing from both sides. We did have more possession, but this was a game that was really close and could have went either way, and a one goal saw Buxton win the game, and one goal was always going to win it. A difficult loss to take at home in particular. Next up we welcomed Colin Bay at Croft Park and we went 2-0 down very early on so we changed it up at half time I was very angry and we did not deserve really to be down 2-0 at that point but we did change it up at half time we got it back to 2-2 very quickly 52 minutes and 54 minutes goals from Maguire and Wolfie so 9 minutes into the second half we pulled it back and we were looking to go and get the win before Chris Sharp he got another goal for Colin Bay and put them 3-2 ahead, a launch of the ball into the box and he volleyed it in, he was on his own. Terrible marking before substitute, I believe, Ryan Humphreys equalised a few minutes later and the game pittered out to a 3-3 draw. An entertaining one for the neutral, 13 shots by us, 11 for them and 10 on target between us. So, we done alright this game, I'm disappointed not to go and get the victory, although we were 2-0 down so I should be grateful for the point. Stephen Tollentonbrill, man of the match for me, 2 assists, 8.6 and he really is good with the ball at his feet and playing in that deep line playmaker role. And then the final match before the live con today was McLover, we went 3-0 down away from home in a disappointing game. 1 minute and 42 seconds on the clock, we were down to a Romario Reed goal. He scored again before Charlie Dawes scored late to secure the victory. Now we did not deserve anything from this. This game was our worst of the season. As you can see in terms of shots and shots on target. They dominated us. They played better than us. They deserved the three points. And in this game no complaints. I'm surprised that one of our players even got 7.5. Which was Stephen Turnbull. The rest of them were very poor. In particular the left back Jordan Watson. Who got a 5.9. Even Wolfie got a 6.1. And he is probably one of our better players. Disappointing loss we really need to sort things out and this is why tactically i decided to change it up a little bit so as you know we had the 4-2-3-1 formation now we've went to a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-4-2 if the wingers decide to drop back so i've put wolfie up front alongside maguire pushed maguire into the poacher role and wolfenden into the advanced forward role taking out the attacking centre midfielder 
hopefully with two up top this can be more effective and get us a few more goals. We are leaking at the back but hopefully we can outscore our opponent. So the one and only signing we've brought in since the last episode is a bit of a journeyman, Simon Hackney. He's played for the likes of Carlisle, Northwich and most recently with Trafford. We got him on a non-contract which is pretty good. So if he does play he's only earning around about £90 per week. Now he's 31 years old, he's experienced 2.5 star current ability. He is on his left foot is his strongest. He plays as a left midfielder, as a winger and he's got some decent, decent attributes for this level guys. Corners 12, crossing and dribbling 13, his first touch is 11, technique is 11, work rate and vision are 11, determination and flair are 14, pace 11 and acceleration 10. Should be a decent and useful addition to the squad. He is lacking a bit of match fitness so hopefully we can get that up pretty quickly and he can be right involved in the first team. Either until Robert Dale comes back or if he does perform well he could be replacing him permanent, permanently but we'll see how we got on with that. So here is our results for the season so far. We started off really well. In the opening six games we won five of them. But since we've come to you, since the Salford game, we have won one, lost two and drew one, conceding too many goals. We've only kept one clean sheet this season, so we're going to have to look at that and sort it out. But at this level, I kind of expect to concede goals, but I also need to score a lot more in case we do leak too many. So here is the current league table after 9 games. As you can see we're sitting 8th position with 16 points. We are only 4 points off top and we are 1 point off the playoff place. And we're looking pretty decent but 8th we should really be higher than this. We've had 5 wins, 1 loss, sorry 1 draw, 3 losses, 17 goals scored and 14 conceded. I would rather our goals conceded be around about the likes of Ilkinston, Marine and Buxton around the 6, 7 or 8 mark. And then we'd be doing a lot better. But I'm not worrying just yet, guys. We're only four points off top. And we're about to play Hale Zone away, who's sitting in 16th position with three games out of nine victories to their name. Incidentally, the FA Cup qualifying round second draw has just been drawn. And we drew Stamford, who are currently sitting bottom of our league with two wins, sorry, two draws and seven losses, zero wins out of nine games. So hopefully we can progress to the next qualifying round with a win over Stamford. So Hale's on away guys and here is the lineup we're going with. McEwen goes left back Watson, centre half, Parker and Hutchison, Nicholson are right back. The standard back five so far. Turnbull is the deep line playmaker. Now Hooks is coming in for Story who's been struggling a bit recently. We've changed him to defend on centre midfield so hopefully a bit more cover for the defence. Wilson on the right we've changed his winger to attack instead of support. Hackney on the left. Maguire and Wolfie up front as poacher and advance forward. As you can see down the bottom of my team, Paul Robinson and Michael Richardson are not far away from being fit to get a game and get on the bench. Richardson, a key player in this team, he will definitely be involved as soon as he's match fit. So Hale's on away guys, they're lining up in a 4-4-2 to our 4-2, advance 2-2. And we are 5-4 to four favourites to win this match away from home. Hopefully we can pick up these three points. Otherwise we could be looking at a barren run of bad results. One win in our last four. We need to pick up a win if we're really going to challenge for that title and catch the team at the top of the table. Four points behind. Let's do this. So the team talk is done. Some of the lads listen keenly. One is delighted for some reason, Ryan Hutchison. And we are good to go. Big match ahead. Against 15th place Hales Owen, hopefully a win is on the cards. Hales Owen kick off. Guayas down the left hand side. And put out by our right back Nicholson. Salmon, Keating. Salmon again on the right. Keating in the middle. Plays it into Pearson. Wolfie playing up front today. And Charles has it at the back. Back to Sargent, the goalkeeper. Plenty of time and space. Punts it forward. Salmon takes it on the right, Keating picks it up, forward to Pearson, Amenku, out on the left to Guayes, he takes on Nicholson, he's going to look to put it in, he does, Darkin puts it wide, a good chance for Hale's own early on. Nicholson with a throw in, Hooks comes in today, complaining about lack of games recently, Turnbull, he's got a few assists recently, but he loses the ball, Pearson, plays it forward, Darkin is one on one, gets McHugh, McHugh makes a double save, well done goalkeeper, good double save there, I thought we were going to go 1-0 down, two shots, 
One on target for Hale's own in the opening four minutes. Nothing from the Spartans. Watson with the ball. Punts it long. Denny picks it up. Elvins on halfway line. And Wolfie comes for it. He can't get it. Guayes on the left. Darkin. Tackled. Guayes again. Darkin is through and puts it wide. And Hale's own again could have been 1-0 up there. They are controlling the opening five, six minutes of this game. Hackney, first touch of the ball. New signing, Turnbull, hooks. Plays it to four to Wolfie, can he turn? He can, he puts it wide to Hackney. First time delivery and Wolfie hits the post and it was a good chance, really good cross from Hackney. Of course this is his third game for the club so hopefully he can produce what his attributes show early on in his career at Blythe. Wilson. Loses the ball. Gwai is on the right. Bombing forward. Plays it to Darkin who gets in behind the defence. Plays it across. Keating. And Hales Owen score through Ben Keating. First goal of the season. Puts it in top corner after first time cross. Disappointing guys. First time cross from Darkin. To the edge of the 18 yard box. And it was almost like a slight scissor kick half volley into the top corner. Very disappointing to go 1-0 behind in a game. That's 15 minutes old and Hales Owen are controlling it so far. We have not done a lot here. We have changed our formation, remember guys. We're now two up front. So I was hoping we'd get a bit more goal mouth action from ourselves. Hackney with the corner. Out wide, picked up by Nicholson. Plenty of time to Hooks, who's now getting closed down. Back to Nicholson. Turnbull. Hackney. Back to Turnbull. Time pick out a pass. What's he going to do with it? He runs. He tries a long shot. That is ridiculous from the experienced centre midfielder. Darken in and behind again. We may have to look at his situation as we approach half time. Keating on the right. Watson takes it off him and plays it long. Amenku picks it up in the centre midfield. He's got plenty of time. Guayes. Nicholson robs him of the ball. Long ball to Wolfie, he can cut inside, is he going to shoot across from that angle? And he does nothing with it, plays it into Elvins and loses the ball. Pearson comes deep, Amenku in the centre of the park. Darkin again getting a lot of ball time. Plays it over the top, Darkin is through and a save by McHugh. That shouldn't have been a problem. He's getting too much space is the striker Darkin. Turnbull. And a free kick in the centre of the park. Three shots, one on target from us, six shots from Hale Zone. Hooks with the ball. Back to Turnbull. Plays in the Hackney. Hackney into Maguire and a half chance for Maguire and puts it straight into the hands of Sargent who then punts it out. Strangely out of play. Sargent with the long ball. Amenku in the middle of the park. Keating on the right. Denny. Salmon. Keating again. Second attempt and McHugh saves from a chance from the striker and that could have really been 2-0 guys. So what I'm going to go and do is go to player. I'm going to ask Hutchison to mark tighter and mark a specific player, Darius Darkin, who seems to be getting a lot of the ball. So, I think we're going to go counter now. We're going to change some instructions here. Look for the overlap. I think we're going to want to play a little bit more tempo to the game. Really need to tight mark them as well. They're getting a lot of space. More direct passing. Be more expressive. Roam from position. Run at defence. And get stuck in. So, we really want to play with a bit of pace now here, guys. The first half was dreadful. Not very good at all. Hopefully this team talk works. Expect to see much better from them in the second half because a lot of them are currently frustrated. Start the second half. Kick off from Blythe Spartans. Nicholson gives it away straight away. Elvins. Parker. Hutchison with the ball. McHugh has it. He's been instructed to play his passes out to the full backs. Well done. That is exactly what he was supposed to do. Maguire. Wolfie. Through. Wilson. Yes. 
get in there. Ross Wilson, second goal of the season. He's a new signing, but he's on non-contract. And believe it or not, North Ferriby actually offered him a new con- a contract at their club just after we signed him, and he turned it down, thankfully. Wolfie, great pass through to Wilson. On his own, left foot, in at the bottom left. Beats the keeper. Good start. 1 minute and 38 into the second half, and we are 1-1 away to Hale Zone. Good comeback. Keating. Darken again. We've been specifically telling the guys to mark him and mark him tighter and pick him up. That's Hutchison's job. We have got 62% of the possession here, guys, yet only having half the shot that Hales Owen have had so far. Amenku. I'm surprised that we've had all that possession because it feels like in all these moments that we've shown you in the highlight that Hales Owen have had most of the ball. 1 1 55 minutes gone. Denny. Parker intercepts. Hackney on the left. He might not be fully fit still, so we might look to take him off soon. Maguire through to Wolfenden. Yes! Get in there. The combination of Matt Wolfenden, the Wolf, and Dan the Machine Maguire. Yeah, I've given them nicknames, guys. I did last year give Maguire the nickname The Machine. And of course, Wolfenden is nicknamed The Wolf. Turnbull into Maguire. Maguire lays it off to Wolfie and he's on his own, first time, bottom right, goalkeeper didn't even move for it. The deep line playmaker Turnbull playing a nice pass in that phase of play. So we're going to make a substitute guys, he's just coming into full fitness really, Simon Hackney the new signing, we're going to take him off and we're going to bring on Ryan Humphreys. I'm tempted to take Maguire off but I think it might be a little bit too early just yet. I was going to bring Andre Johnson on, but we might leave that in the 10 or so minutes. 2 and up, 60 minutes gone. We've not had the shots that they've had, but we've been clinical. We've had 4 on target and scored 2 of those. 59% possession in our favour, but that's still bizarre to me. I genuinely think something isn't right with these statistics in the game. And McGee equalises, George McGee equalises. in on his own in acres of space. That is disappointing. Really, really disappointing. As you can see, the defence, there's one, one defence. I guess I was looking to play the offside and it didn't quite work. Poor goal to concede, 2-2, two, two, heel zone, equalise. We're going to make that substitution now. We're going to bring on Andre Johnson for Damagoya. And we're going to bring off the goal scorer, Ross Wilson, for Aaron Wearmouth. Give them team talk. Calm, ex- Show me what you got today to Aaron Wearmouth and Andre Johnson. I want to see a good performance from you today. So 20 minutes to go. I'm going to give them a team talk passionately. Hopefully we can go on and nick a goal. Encourage the lads. 20 minutes to go. It's a big game here. We really don't want to be coming away with a point from this. Three points is what we need. Turnbull. Hooks, back to Turnbull, Wolfenden, Johnson, take goal! What a hit from Andre Johnson! Third goal of the season and all three goals have come from off of the bench. Wolfie into Johnson, one touch, bang, top corner, pick it out. He is a super sub. What a freebie he's been. He's only made, I think, about four or five appearances and he scored three goals all from the bench all late on. Well done. Really good goal. But Turnbull gives the ball away slackly there. And Cooper is on the left. Into McGee. And he puts it wide. So I'm going to team talk with the guys. I'm going to tell them to assertively concentrate. We cannot give this away. This is a big, big match. Watson with a throw on the left. Gives it straight away to Salmon. McGee. Pearson out wide for the opposition. He still has it. He's been forced deep to play it back to the goalkeeper, to Sargent, who gives it to Charles and Cooper, who've got plenty of space. McGee looking to get in behind again and straight into the arms of McHugh. We're playing dangerous when we're playing this offside trap. Fortunately, I don't play it from the start, but as you've seen, I changed my tactics at half time, looking to catch them out because they were getting a lot of space. Eight minutes to go. Hooks, Parker. Gives it away slackly again. Hooks. Turnbull. Dilly dallying on the ball. Back to Hooks. We're getting closed down quite a lot here. 
Johnson into Wolfie and he is offside. That was close decision. 60% possession to us guys. Our control inside of the game is really, really dominant. Like I've said to you, only two games in the whole season we've not had the greater deal of possession. And in those two games we didn't, it was split 50-50. Hooks. 90th minute. Nothing silly here now, lads. Two minutes left. Nicholson gives it away. That was silly. Hutchison to Turnbull. Wearmouth. And Westwood has the ball. Cooper Amaneku plays forward to Pearson. He's got a bit of space. Surely McGee's offside and he's not, but Nicholson puts it out of play. Hull, Cooper. One minute to go and Pearson puts it wide. Just to tighten up, we're going to go contain. Don't look to score, look to frustrate them. 25 seconds left. Surely we can see this out. Parker, Turnbull. Nothing silly. What a great ball that is to Turnbull, from Turnbull to Wolfie. And that's it, referee, come on ref. Referee, yes, get in there. A big win. Change of tactics and change of shape and mentality at half time. Got us the comeback. Passionately tell the lads what a comeback that was. Thought it was going to be another nightmare. So there you are, guys. We only had eight shots, but five of them were on target. We had 59% possession. They had 18 shots, seven on target. Turnbull, the deep line playmaker, had 82 passes completed in the game. Player of the match was Amaneku. He played in the middle of the park and got an 8.7 for the opposition. The referee had a good game, 7.2. And as you can see, guys, on the sideline there, the table... We sit 6th, 6 wins, 1 draw, 3 losses, 19 points, we are 2 points ahead of 7th and we are 3 points from the top place teams Buxton and Ilkeston. So things are looking pretty good, a good win and that just about wraps up this episode guys. Goals from Wilson, Wolfenden and Andre Johnson the super sub got us a 3-2 win, a weight heel zone, hope you've enjoyed the episode guys. Hope you're enjoying Rags to Riches and don't forget to check out the Football Manager with Kids on all social media fronts. Thanks, take care and I'll see you again in the next episode of Rags to Riches.